Hello everyone! Last week I did a Let's Watch of Sailor Moon, and those of you who are familiar with some of my other work may have been thinking, is he going to talk about guns? There's no way he's going to talk about guns. It's Sailor Moon. It has nothing to do with guns. Well, aside from Chibi Usa's hilariously realistic toy gun, but what can you really say about that besides... It exists. And you were right, I didn't mention guns the whole episode. Because I was saving it for a separate video. There's a persistent rumor that Sailor Moon's creator, Naoko Takeuchi, was originally going to give the character a gun. Not some sort of moon crystal prism ray gun either. A straight up, semi-automatic handgun that she would use to right wrongs and triumph over evil, Judge Dredd style. Which when you think about it, is functionally not that different than what she already does. So where'd this rumor come from, and is there any truth to it? Let's take a look. Stories of Sailor Moon's gun-toting origins all go back to this image. This is an actual piece of Sailor Moon concept art by Naoko Takeuchi, the creator of Sailor Moon. And that is indeed Usagi with a handgun. But for full context, let's take a look at a 2017 article from the anime news site Gobo Iano that helped spread this rumor in the English-speaking world. Gobo Iano is actually no longer online, but fortunately the article was archived. Shoujo's most iconic hero started out with a gun. It's not a very long article, but it does include several interesting claims and links to several interesting sources. Naoko Takeuchi's Sailor Moon is arguably the most iconic shoujo series of all time, yada yada. I think we all know what Sailor Moon is, so we can skip that bit. And let's get to the meat of the article. Oh, and Takeuchi totally wanted to give Usagi a gun. This image appeared in the Nakayoshi Deluxe 1992 New Year's Preview magazine, and Takeuchi's commentary was, I drew this color picture with just an image, when I hadn't decided on the content of the story yet. She has a crescent moon mark of her forehead, and somehow everything is revealed. At first I wanted to do Sailor Moon's tiara in a form like this. I really like it. Since the Sailor Moon color pictures started from this picture, I made it the last one in the picture collection. So that's the big piece of evidence that Sailor Moon was originally meant to carry a gun. This piece is official art by Naoko Takeuchi, and not only that, she confirmed in an interview that this was the first concept art of Sailor Moon she ever drew. But let's actually analyze this interview outside of the spin the article is putting on it. First of all, Naoko Takeuchi didn't actually mention the gun in the drawing at all. Secondly, one thing she did state quite clearly is that when she started working on this drawing, she had no plan and no story attached to it. Considering both of those facts, it seems presumptuous to assume that the gun was intended to be part of the series. Now let's continue with the article. Sailor Moon went through some heavy revisions before publication, and the series is actually a sequel to Codename Sailor V. In fact, Usagi looked a lot like Minako Aino, Sailor Venus, with the only big distinction being Usagi's silver hair and red cape. Codename Sailor V. Let's pause for a minute on that, because it actually gives us a lot of insight into the development process of Sailor Moon. Toei Animation actually approached Naoko Takeuchi about the Codename Sailor V manga and told her they were interested in turning it into an anime. But they gave her two options in regards to this adaptation. In its original form, they were only interested in adapting Sailor V into an OVA that would be a few episodes long. However, if Takeuchi turned the series into one with a whole team of girl superheroes, Toei would turn it into a full syndicated TV show. Since this was the option that was much more lucrative and would give her more exposure, Takeuchi began thinking about how to expand Sailor V into a team series. So from its inception, Sailor Moon was an expansion of codename Sailor V. Sailor V also predates this picture. The first issue came out on August 3rd, 1991, while this concept art was finished November 5th, 1991, which we know because Takeuchi helpfully wrote the date on it. So in the series Sailor Moon is based on, which predates the Usagi with a gun concept art, does Sailor V use a gun? No. Is the tone drastically different and darker than Sailor Moon? Not really. Okay, let's carry on with the article. It's not uncommon for a manga to see changes between the prototype and publication phases, but Takeuchi is uncommonly vocal about the changes that were made compared to other mangaka. In various interviews and manga notes, Takeuchi has said that Sailor Moon was originally going to be darker, but protests from her editors forced the tone to lighten. That is accurate. 
However, the way it's presented here seems to be leading readers to make a connection between Takeuchi wanting to take things in a darker direction and Sailor Moon carrying a gun. What Takeuchi actually described had nothing to do with Sailor Moon carrying a gun. In fact, the article does briefly refer to what Takeuchi actually said about that darker direction, but in a way that's conveniently vague. Takeuchi has never been shy about talking about her resentment of being denied to kill her characters. Pause. This is the darker direction. You see, at one point, Takeuchi actually wanted to end the series by killing off all of her main characters, which her editor said no to. I guess they didn't want to deal with all the traumatized adolescent girls and angry parents. Anyway, Takeuchi has never been shy about talking about her resentment of being denied to kill her characters, nor her disapproval of the male perspective of the anime, which diminishes the original message of the manga. I feel like the author of this article is playing up the gender conflict over the Sailor Moon anime. The link provided in that paragraph goes to an MTV article about Sailor Moon that quotes Takeuchi as saying, The anime has a slight male perspective to it, since much of the staff was male. My original was written by a girl, me, for girls. And that's all she says about the topic. Just that it was, not that it was good or bad. In another interview that's linked from the Goboiano article, Takeuchi says she wasn't too happy that the Sailor Starlights were turned into guys in the anime. Kinda, sorta, it's complicated. But she also says that she'd love it if the characters got their own OVA, so I guess she wasn't too mad about it. Of course, none of this has anything to do with whether Sailor Moon was supposed to use a gun, but it is another example of the author of the article putting a spin on things to sound more dramatic. Takeuchi's early Sailor Moon notes and artwork were published in Nakayoshi magazine as bonus content, with most of them not being localized in the English volumes of Sailor Moon. You can find some of Takeuchi's notes and interviews in a translation project at Miss Dream. And that's the end of the article, link in the description below, and the links on the article also work, so you can check those out if you want to. Actually, that Miss Dream translation project has a lot of stuff archived, and it's actually pretty interesting. So was Sailor Moon really supposed to carry a gun? Probably not. It's a very cool picture, and that this is the confirmed first picture of Sailor Moon that it was ever made is pretty funny, but it looks like her holding the handgun was just a result of the artist doodling. Takeuchi herself said the picture wasn't planned, the main character of her prequel series doesn't use a gun, and as much as she said about things in the series being changed, none of the changes she mentioned involve Usagi using a gun. This picture being what it is, it's understandable where the urban legend came from, and I understand why the article is written with the spin it has. It's a much more clickable story to say that Sailor Moon was supposed to have a gun and those mean editors nixed it because sexism or something, than it is to say that Sailor Moon has a gun in her original concept art, but it probably doesn't mean anything, don't read too much into it. This is far from the worst instance of people who write for online journals stretching the truth. At least this is pretty harmless. By the way, if you're wondering what model this handgun is, I don't think it is a real model. It's a bit difficult to see well at the angle it's being hauled, but it looks kinda science fiction-y. Almost like something out of Blade Runner. This is in contrast to the small handful of other guns that appeared in the series, which were based on real weapons. Anyway, thanks for watching this unnecessarily detailed look at a funny Sailor Moon urban legend. You guys seemed to think that splitting the channel was a bad idea, so I won't be doing that, and you mostly seemed interested in me finishing a let's watch of Gunsmith Cats, so I will be doing that. But first, Mark Mallory and I are actually going to do a collab video to unify the channel a little better. It will be a Warhammer 40k video, and it will be uploading soon. If you like this video, be sure to give the video a like, and subscribe and click the notification icon to see more. Everyone, have a great day.